and good afternoon from the seventh largest city in the country, San Antonio, Texas. It is Fiesta 2016. Good afternoon. I'm Mark Austin. And I'm Leslie Mouton. Thank you so much for being with us. We hope you're enjoying the parade as much as we are. It has been a great day weather-wise, and our location is splendid and perfect. San Antonio is in the mood to party. We've got a peak night of fiesta. We've got battle flowers today, Niosa tonight. And of course, we've got to save a little energy to cheer on our San Antonio Spurs as they take on the Memphis Grizzlies at 8.30 tonight at the FedEx Forum. Go Spurs, go. We hope they win tonight and then just make it a sweep on Sunday, which you can watch Sunday's game. It's 1 o'clock if I believe. Noon. Noon. See, thank you very much. At noon Sunday, you can watch that game right here on KSAT. But let's not talk about the Spurs at this moment. Let's talk about the parade. And a lot of folks know about this company through their initials, SAS. That means San Antonio Shoemakers. And their theme this year is absolutely perfect. It dovetails with the Battle Flowers Parade, and it is Show Us Your Shoes. Which does dovetail with this parade, absolutely. And we've seen some fabulous boots and shoes from our royalty on the floats today, too. This is the second year that they've been in the parade, and one of the parade's major sponsors this year. And they have been showing us their shoes for 40 incredible years. They were founded in 1976. They're handcrafted, genuine leather shoes. They are made right here in the Alamo City. And they want to show you their shoes from start to finish. Look at those big giant shoes. Perfect float for SAS. By the way, they don't mind if you take a tour of their factory and see how their expert shoes have been handcrafted for 40 years. You know, every time I pass by their building, because, you know, they're way out there kind of in my area, I'm always like, oh, my gosh, I should do that. I should just stop in one day. Yeah, that's uh, 35 there near Garden Ridge, right? Yes, exactly. They're showing us their shoes as well on there, and they look to all be wearing comfortable shoes. And Probably the music smart. is Footloose. How appropriate, right? Mike needs to be on that float right now. Yes. Next up. Macy's Stars. You see the big giant Macy's balloon? Well, of course, it's sponsored by Macy's. Macy's, that's right. This marks the seventh year Macy's is marching in the parade with the Macy's star balloons, the same balloons used in New York City's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. How about that? It's amazing. They actually raise over a million dollars for the Make-A-Wish Foundation each and every year. And hey, go ahead. Go ahead, ahead ma'am. I was going to say, they received top rating in best places to work for LGBT equality. It is kind of cool. They were able to move the star all the way down here from Manhattan to participate in today's Battle of Flowers Parade. Oh, man, fair. Look what I see coming up down the road past them. She's Benchard. talking Cajun. I apologize in <laughs> advance. This is a civic and educational float from the AT&T Pioneers. The title, Crawfish Festival, and that's why you're talking like that. Oh, those mud bugs come from Louisiana, Shaq. Now, here's the catch. She won't eat them. I she'll, don't eat them. She'll talk about them, but she won't eat them. Yeah, I'm actually allergic to shellfish, which includes crawfish. That's just My father says I can't really be his child. But hey, the AT&T Pioneers began in 1911 with 734 members, including a gentleman named Alexander Graham Bell. I've heard that somewhere. I have too. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of remember that. Mm -hmm. They are more than 100,000 strong, and they're actually a network of volunteers, and they affect and mediate tangible change in local communities you from South the, Texas. You see the big kettle? They are cooking up a Cajun storm right now. Let's listen you see to it steaming? That is actually adorable. Ethel Jones Johnson you is their president. The, the crawfish in the pot is holding up the hot sauce because you can't have Louisiana food without hot sauce. You've got to have it. Next up, we have another carriage and wagon. This is traditional Spanish culture from the International Black and White Ball. International Black and White Ball was founded in 1933 to promote goodwill and understanding between Mexico and the United States, especially Texas. And government, military, civic, and social leaders of our two countries have met, better understood each other, and actually sowed the seeds of understanding that now prevails between our two countries. Yeah, the sister pact between San Antonio and Guadalajara, Mexico, was signed at their ball back in 1973. They will celebrate their 83rd anniversary, and that is happening this year. And they have actually participated in the Battle of Flowers Parade for many years, for 36 years. They've continued to be a part of this wonderful tradition. Lauren Rose Calderon, the 2015 Queen of the International's Black and White Ball, and Princess Gianna Rain Ruiz, and their mothers on board. Super Scoopers, just to give them a shout out, Central Catholic High School Spanish Club following them. And now we're seeing the military honor guard. This is Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Yeah, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, part of the Department of Homeland Security, which employs over 20,000 men and women nationwide. The San Antonio Honor Guard consists of Port Isabel, San Antonio, Pearsall, Laredo, and Dilly, Texas offices. Now, the agency's primary duty is to identify, arrest, and remove criminal aliens from our community. 
San Antonio Field Office is the largest in the country, more than 700 employees, and this is actually the fourth year the Honor Guard has participated in the parade. The San Antonio Guard started in 2012, and it has a 20-person team. We have another decent-sized band headed this way towards Alamo Plaza. 154 members strong with 13 flags. You're going to be hearing from the Northside Independent School District's John Jay Mustang Band. There Here you, you see can. them as they're making their way down the parade route, uh, inching closer and closer to the Alamo, which, of course, is directly behind us. And we hope to listen to them play. The John Jay High School Mustang Band. They were the third NISD school built in 67. It'll be 50 years old next year. They are 154 strong. Their head drum major is Garrett Leos, and behind them. And 13 flags following the band. And following those flags, we're going to see the spirit group, the John Jay High School NISD cheerleaders, actually placed first at Alamo Nationals and fourth at NCA Nationals. And they also have the Phillies dance team. They have a pretty impressive record as well. Grand champions at Showtime International. And the Silver Spurs pep squad plays second at Showtime International. And they are getting the crowds fired up, which is what cheerleaders are supposed to do. And I can't tell here, but the John Jay Spirit Organization is 100 members strong. Their cheer captain is Ariana De La Garza. And there you see the pep squad that I was just talking about. That's got some pep. They do have pep. And they have to have pep to go through this parade and continue with all that energy. And as we said, the pep squad plays second at Showtime International. Congratulations to the Silver Spurs pep squad at John Jay High School. We're going to stay with John Jay High School here. Next up, we've got John Jay High School School of Science and Engineering Academy. Their theme this year for their float is going to be traditional Texas music. Now, I'm hoping that we're going to talk to Mike Osterhage on this one, since he was so entertaining on a float last year, jumping on and actually performing. Since this is a Texas music kind of float theme. Absolutely. I'm hoping we can get him on there. Traditional Texas music. So if you can't carry a tune in a bucket, there's no need to worry. There's more musicians, singers, and songwriters in Texas than there are stars at night. And they're just as bright, too. Country, blues, jazz, spiritual, gospel, rock, Tex-Mex, and Cajun resonate throughout the Lone Star State. In Texas, you can find a performer any night of the week in a honky tonk where country king. You can catch a coffee house, troubadour, where jazz and blues always on the menu. And be prepared to hear hit songs sung in Spanish, German, Czech, English. Texas music knows no boundaries. Dancing to the tune of If You're Gonna Play in Texas, You Gotta, gotta have, have a, a Fiddle, fiddle in, in the, the Band, band. That's right. by Alabama. Let's go to Mike Osterhage, who is down there, hoping he's going to jump on the float and perform. Hey, Mike, can you hear us? I don't know if I can't hear you. The music is playing right here, but for some reason, whenever there's a musical, oh, here we go, musical float. I got to jump on. Obviously, I forgot my uh, long beard, though. I guess in honor to uh, ZZ Top. Got to get the whole crowd going here. Come on, folks. Thank you, Mike. To John Jay High School. Nothing better than riding on a float in the Battle of Flowers Parade. That's not Mike. Is that Mike? That's, <laughs> not, that's Mike. not Mike. That's not Mike. <laughs> that is definitely not Mike. That guy's got rhythm. <laughs> oh, poor Mike. <laughs> John Jay High School, School of Science and Engineering Academy. John Jay, the third high school opened in the Northside District back in 1967. They'll be turning 50 in the upcoming 2017-2018 school year. They got some moves. Oh, yeah, look. They're doing the cotton nacho and the chicken dance and a whole bunch of different dances. Thanks for making those moves for us. Last year, the graduating class, by the way, earned approximately $13 million in scholarships. That's pretty impressive. Most students on the float this year are the student council, the student council's largest 
event is the annual shoe drive. It helps underprivileged students purchase new shoes. Next up, Escaramusa Rosas de Castilla. This group has won numerous awards for participating in parades in surrounding towns. They have an honor court which greets dignitaries on their visit to San Antonio. They also perform an equestrian side saddle exhibition. Oh, I love that. So fun to watch side saddle riders. They're involved in the community service throughout San Antonio on numerous levels and in several different ways. Their participants are Harley Jane de Luna, who is the queen. Myra Rodriguez, the princess, and Tiffany Espinosa is their captain. Again, Escaramusa Rosas de Castilla. And once again, you will see, following closely behind them, our super scoopers, Central Catholic National Honor Society. Very happy to have them as part of the parade this year, doing the work that needs to be done. And they were recently ranked as the number one private high school in San Antonio. We're very familiar with Central Catholic, aren't we? Yes, we are. And Beautiful costumes, again, once... I mean, the flavor of San Antonio right there. And, of course, y y you can't miss the fact that they're, they are riding side saddle. They are. They're, the dresses are beautiful. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness they have hats on. All you right, so let me tell you this as we're waiting for them to pass on by. We've got more pooper scoopers here. Yeah, super I was telling scoopers. You, we yeah, call them super scoopers. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but what you are, said is actually it's true. It's I mean, accurate. It's an accurate thing. I was saying it was Central Catholic, which is true. And they've, they're so active in so many areas of community service. And they actually are academic World Quest champions for six consecutive years. All right. So if I told you that it was about 84 degrees outside, would you say we're on target? Because it looks warmer out there in the sun. A lot of people are fanning it themselves. It might be hotter than that, actually, in the direct sunlight. Probably in the shade. It's yeah. about 84 degrees. It looks like it's getting pretty hot. Yeah, a lot of people using their fans. But again, we got so lucky with the storms we've had off and on throughout the week. Now coming up, we have a court float. This is carrying Emily Catherine Armin, Duchess of Masterfer Mosaics. We'll be showing you her in just a moment. Also on will be Grace Chandler Gutterson from Fort Worth, Texas. That's right, the Duchess of Byzantine Mysteries. And then oh, we have there Car we go. Yeah, and then we have Caroline Blanche Brookshire from Tyler, which is east of Dallas, the Duchess of Plenitudes of the Seas. In the front is Emily Armin. Her train showcases one of the earliest art firms, Mosaics. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Victor Armin. Grace Chandler Gutterson, a train depicts the impact of religion from early beliefs centered on the pantheon of Greek gods to Greek Orthodox Church's role today in shaping Greek society. She's the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Wilson Del Franklin and Mr. Arthur Roy Gutterson. And Grace is in the middle right. And on the middle left is Caroline Blanche Brookshire from Tyler, Texas. She is the Duchess of the Plutitudes of the Seas. Her train tells of the love the Greeks have of fishing. Greek fishermen drew their livelihood, providing nourishment to all people. And there's Sophie Hilliard, Hilliard Larkin, the Duchess of Battleful Hardis. Grace, Grace's train represents Demeter, the goddess of the harvest adorned with sheaves of golden and, wheat. And now another band, East Central High School, the Golden Hornet Marching Band. They are 250 members strong. Their drum major, Jacob Hernandez, a flag corps of 50. Their enrollment, uh, over 300 students, making one of the largest in the city. They had been consistent first division marching band for the past eight years. Years. And their wind ensemble, a consistent recipient of sweepstakes. And there's the Golden Hornet. That cannot, that has to be hot for that poor little Golden Hornet, but he's got a lot of pep. Let's listen to the Golden Hornet marching band.
is the Golden Hornet Marching Band from East Central High School here in San Antonio. One of the largest bands in the city, and they've got a lot of spirit. Viva Fiesta. You're watching the Battle of Flowers Parade. We'll be right back here on KSAT 12. Stay with us for more live coverage from just in front of the Alamo.